Hello everyone, welcome to the Upfront. Today we address a matter of national importance, the upcoming census plan for 2025. Originally due in 2021, it was delayed under the pretext of the COVID-19 pandemic. But now the government is preparing to initiate this essential exercise that takes place every 10 years, systematically gathering information that reflects the true picture of our country's demographics. The census is far more than just numbers, it's the primary resource to understand our population's growth, age distribution, education, health and financial status. It lets us evaluate whether we are moving closer to achieving our welfare goals and it provides a basis to devise and place welfare schemes where they are most needed. Critically, the census data also sets the stage for redrawing our Lok Sabha and Legislative Assembly constituencies. The government intends to implement this delimitation process by 2027, planning the next general elections in 2029 based on new constituency boundaries. Additionally, it aims to bring 33% reservation for women, a positive move which already has legislative backing. However, while promising a census, the government remains silent on the crucial issue, the caste census. Opposition members, including the India Bloc and even some NDA partners like the United Janta Dal, have questioned the government's stance, urging clarity on whether a caste census will accompany the main one. Several parties, including TDP, NJU, Republican Party and Apna Dal, have echoed similar demands while upper caste communities express concerns. For the BJP, this is a sensitive issue as upper castes are seen as core supporters. The complexity doesn't end here. The delimitation process brings additional challenges. Southern states with effective family planning initiatives fear they may lose representation as the north where population growth remains higher could see gain. A private study suggests South India may lose 24 seats with UP and Bihar alone gaining 21 new seats. Uttar Pradesh already holding 80 seats may expand its influence further. It appears this restructuring is geared to favour political strategy, potentially benefiting the BJP in securing another term. Lastly, the recent calls by Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin and TDP's Chandrababu Naidu for their citizens to have more children echo similar appeals from countries like China and Singapore, which ultimately saw limited public response. This highlights the challenges of reversing a long-standing small family happy family campaign. In conclusion, the 2025 census and ensuing decisions carry significant implications. It is up to us to stay informed, ensure fair representation and remain engaged in the democratic process that shapes our future. That's all for today. If you like the content we provide, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. Please share our videos and educate others. Thank you.